As you probably know, there is a parliamentary by-election happening in the Tiverton and Honiton seat in Devon. This seat became available when the Tory MP that was sitting in it was caught watching pornography in the Commons and resigned. So one of our most active candidates, Frankie Ruffalo, is standing. He lives in the area, stands in a lot of elections, um, has is gained experience and, and enthusiasm along the way. He is standing in this election. Let me read to you a tweet he posted yesterday. The organisers of the only hustings event open to the public wouldn't let me take part or even sit in the audience and got security to remove me. I handed out leaflets to people outside and some of them were rather cross that I wasn't allowed in. We have a huge problem here. A very extreme, far left movement is dictating public life. It has the unquestioned, unfettered support of the mainstream press, big corporations, educational institutions, cultural institutions, completely obeyed by all of this. And our entire public life bows down to left wing bullies, whether it be about immigration or Islam or trans, whatever it is. If you're on the opposite side to the far left, you will be punished for it. But this is really serious and really significant. A hostings, for those who don't know, is when candidates turn up, um, they sit on a stage and they are asked questions by members of the public. This apparently was the only one being held for this by-election. And not only was our candidate not allowed to take part, he wasn't even allowed in the room, removed by security as if he is some sort of threat. What do they expect him to do exactly. But they've made up their minds that we are devils. Some of them think that, others know perfectly well that a lot of people will agree with what is said by Frankie and by this party in general. That's why they won't allow us to be heard. They are scared of us. You do not do this to people you're not scared of. Some of the coverage, though, good to, to give you some good news on this election, some of the coverage has been quite positive and some of it will show you why the extreme left is so afraid to let Frankie Ruffalo speak. So I'll link to these articles below, uh, but one of them from uh, Honiton... Honiton, dot, Honiton Nub, Honiton Nub News, um, gives some good coverage to Frankie. He calls for police stations to be opened. He fully acknowledges that he once set fire to the Quran in Exeter. Uh, and he defended free speech while doing it. He's also, and here's another, it's probably of the, of the press, recent press I can find. Here's something that they definitely, that the left certainly don't want, Frankie, allowed to say on a stage. And that is a skirt ban in a Devon school. So a school in the area has called for a gender neutral uniform. And in this, Devon Live, gives Frankie the headline. He called it a, a laughing stock. It will turn the school and the area into a laughing stock. He posted, when I speak to parents, teaching staff and young people, they want Tiverton High School to have better facilities, more special educational needs, more mental health support. No one asked for gender neutral uniforms that will inconvenience girls and their parents. And all this politically correct nonsense is happening under a so-called conservative 
government, turning a great historic Devon town into a national laughing stock. Nicely said, Frankie. You know, I know, and so do the extreme left know that people all over that constituency, people all over the country will agree with every word. I've always believed the only way to deal with bullies is to stand up to them. That's what we, we have to do as a society, as a country, stand up to the left wing bullies. People don't actually agree with them. They don't sympathize with the left wing view. They just know that if they don't go along with it, they'll have their businesses attacked, they'll have their reputation defamed. And once they will be called racist, and once you're called a racist, that's it. You're in trouble. You're no longer a full person once you're labeled a racist by these people. They've even managed to bully using lawsuits. Mind you, it's not hard to bully a government into doing something that they want to do anyway. Uh, which is abandon Rwanda flights. It, it was always going to be a joke. But the loony left will not allow deportations to happen, whatever, through whatever means. I understand that it was the European Court of Human Rights that stopped this, but look, 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 at, the, look at the reaction, look at the backlash. Yes, an attempt simply to remove some, a tiny number, the whole thing is a gimmick. But look at the backlash. No such backlash when there are terror attacks or gang rapes by these refugees. Nothing. Silence. No human rights are being breached at that point. The open border left are violent. They're using brown shirt tactics and getting away with it. And no matter what they do, the press isn't interested in this story involving Frankie Ruffalo this morning, just as it wasn't interested when I couldn't attend a Hustons event in London a few years ago for my safety. I, it wasn't safe for me to attend a Hustons event. I, like Frankie, was a completely valid parliamentary candidate. Our entire culture is dominated by this extreme, extreme ideology. And no matter what they do, they're not held to account. They're not called out as the anti-democratic thugs, criminals that they are. Our country's been run by bullies, extreme loopy left bullies. And until we stand up to them as a country, we'll just continue to spiral down and down. If you can help Frankie, I will link to his Facebook page below. Give him a shout and help him campaign. Election day is the 23rd of June, so coming up soon. But help him if you can. And if you live in the constituency of Tiverton and Honiton, let me just express a view on this. When the powerful, and they are the powerful, the big elite political parties, when the powerful try to censor and silence somebody, find out what that somebody has to say. It's the smartest thing you can do. I will be back on Monday with my live stream at eight o'clock. Please do join me, Dan. In the meantime, have a good weekend.